Hello everyone, welcome to the channel with you now today. I've been waiting to do this since we started this, but there's been delays, but today we are reviewing Square Eye Jack. Here's the intro. Now before we talk about anything else, I'm going to let you know about the basics about Square Eye Jack. Alright, so how many subscribers does he have? Well, he has 19,015 or 19k. And as of views in total, it's about 4 million it is. And then with his most popular video being his Crash Bandicoot, the Wrath of Cortex review, with 126k views. Now, if you're wondering what does he do on his channel, well, he does review videos, he'll do list stuff, and then also updates. You could compare this to people like the Angry Video Game Nerd or Carrius, but I do see that Square Jack is trying his best to put it in his own way and to put whatever he wants to with you and make it all like a big project I guess to make it his own and I don't also this I disagree to the people who say but he's copying off Cadiz right you no know. you could say the same thing about me when I did one of my review videos on like Crash Twin Sanity. Now, to be honest, I can't remember how long I've actually been subscribed or if I've been how long have I been watching Square Eye Jack's content. I do know that it started in 2017. I do remember being there before he hit 10,000 subscribers, but apart from that, I do not remember much. I don't. To be honest, his content is quite fun. It is, whilst I edit or work or do anything, it's nice to have that video on in the background. But there was also a time within between this year and last year that I stopped watching him because it got to the point where I could, I just could not. Basically, watching him would just make me feel depressed. The happiness will entirely go. And I don't even know if this guy actually likes Caduceus or Angry Video Game Nerd. It doesn't really matter, but it seems to me that he does not. But what do I give the channel in total? Well, because of what happened, and to be honest, I do not blame him. And also uh, the fact that his videos are really entertaining, and when he's reviewing something that you're that I know that I'm interested in, it makes it more better. But even if it's something that I don't know, I'm still going to watch it. Square Eye Jack gets an eight out of ten. Yes, his content is good. Yes, all of everything else is good. His upcoming special, if it's happened or not, is... I just feel like it's amazing that he's doing this. But, because of the time and how I felt um, when I wasn't watching his videos and just that, it's hard to explain, that's why. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy Halloween and here's the next channel that we'll be reviewing. Scene will be an RE2 remake or if this is Claire's own gun that she travels with or find somewhere while she's in the RPD. I'm not too sure, I'm actually waiting to hear that story in the game. Also another nice little easter egg that they threw into this game for us right now is the fact that her license plate on her bike is the original launch date for Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation back in the day and it's things like that that they're doing with this game right now that give me hope that they're really listening to the fans